Hey guys, and welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Andy, or ND for short, and I am a first year medical student at the Medical College of Georgia. Now, we all know that COVID has kind of changed the way that we approach education at the moment, and especially for my pre-med med students out there, any online resources that you can use to help you in your free time, because you know them live streamed or recorded lectures don't hit the same, uh, those resources can be super useful in you just learning the material and making sure that you do well on your assessments and practicals. In this video, I've compiled my favorite online resources that I've used during the past few months of medical school that I think will be super useful to you as both a pre-med and medical student and will be sure to help you succeed in your lab practicals, your lecture exams, and any other assessments that you have coming up. So let's get started. All right, so the first two resources I have are your quick summary type websites where you want a lot of information, a lot of accurate information in a short amount of time or in a very condensed fashion. First one is called Up to Date. Now, if you've done any clinical shadowing, this may sound very familiar to you because it's very popular in the clinical environment. Uh, for example, I was on emergency medicine uh, shadowing, and if the child presents with something that you know, may be somewhat abnormal or has, presents in a case that like you're unsure of what to, the protocol is for treatment, you would come here, up to date, because like the name implies, everything in here is the most up to date. And it's very clinical based, so for example, you're looking for something very relevant, COVID-19. You search it up in the bar and now you have a bunch of these results of different situations and they would break down, let's just go clinical features here. Nice summary sheet of everything from you know, the risk factors to your clinical manifestations that you'd see, uh, what your chest imaging would show and what uh, lab findings you would expect like it's fantastic it's got all peer-reviewed um, citations in it so you know that it's accurate and it gives you a bunch of information in all at one place which is crucial for in the clerkship rotations when somebody you're attending may ask you or pimp you on something super quick and you're like, oh shoot, I need to not look through a billion papers to find this answer. Here it is. And then not just that, but when you go to, for example, treatment options, let's see if you in here. So like, yeah, management hospitalized adults. Again, there's a bunch of different search results that would tailor to your exact situation. Um, but you can go f see the evaluation, again, what labs you'd want to look for, and then all these treatment options. And it's all in one place because obviously doctors, as smart as we are, we don't know everything. We can't know everything. So this is a great way to, one, uh, be sure that you're administering the right treatment and to not look like an idiot in front of your patient because you can just look, look this up. And so the next resource we have, kind of piggybacking off of the concept of a lot of information condensed down to like one or two pages, is Stat Pearls. Now this one is a little bit more academia based uh, and research paper based uh, than up to date. Up to date is more clinically focused in terms of treatment and diagnosis. So this is more for say, your professor asks you to do a presentation on a certain disease and I'm going to use the example of something that came up this week that I had no idea what it was was juvenile idiopathic arthritis so you go to stat pearls go to article library and then you can also select profession speci specialty um, to kind of narrow down results but I can just go in here type juvenile idiopathic okay right there juvenile idiopathic arthritis and now you have a summary sheet written by doctors for doctors of just about everything you need to know about it. 
Uh, you got an introduction, your etiology, epidemiology, pathophys, histopath, what you would expect to see from your history and physical, and then your lab values, what you see on imaging, and then a little bit less uh, comprehensive, but you still get treatment management and then how you would go about doing a differential diagnosis for this. Even stuff like prognosis and complications. So this is great when your attending asks you to present on a specific disease and you're like, you know, I don't want to search through Google Scholar or PubMed for the endless amount of articles on this certain ailment. I just want the big picture and the most clinically relevant things, which is what most professors and attendings want to know. And so these two websites, I highly recommend you use. It saved my butt a bunch when I've had to do presentations and it will practically make you an expert on that disease or treatment overnight. So definitely keep that in mind. My next one is a site called uh, Scholar RX. This is a little bit more tailored to my medical students. The last few resources can be used by medical students and pre-meds. This one's more tailored to you know, people preparing for step one uh, exams. Uh, the school is gracious enough to give us a subscription to this, but I think it's highly worth it because uh, of the features. So the biggest thing is you got some RX bricks, which if you've heard of Pathoma, it has kind of a similar concept where it breaks down uh, path pathology of different topics by organ system or di di disciplines, yeah, disciplines. And you can see kind of, you go cardiovascular, endocrine, GI, um, and then go by discipline. And it would give you short summary articles and videos about it. Um, I was recently doing the musculoskeletal and connective tissue uh, diseases because that's the module I'm in currently. So you go in and say, I want to know specifically, um, let's just say, yeah, the innervation of the upper extremity. Click it, it's got a great comprehensive article uh, and, as well as questions throughout to help you learn. So I would definitely use this supplementally to my lectures um, or some people can use it in place of lectures. I'm not here to judge, uh, but I think it's a fantastic, easy way to digest material. And the biggest plus of this is your test banks. So I don't know how other medical students are arranging their module finals, but for me, all my module finals are taken from previous USMLE step one tests. So they have their own question bank and they're pulling them directly for it. And so the best way to study is USMLE pra type practice questions. And that is the biggest part of Scholar RX. And I know there's plenty of other resources out there like AMBOSS, um, you world, but you want to save those to a little bit closer to your actual exam time. And so when you're in your preclinical -pre stages, this is fantastic. I used this to study for my foundations module and it was great. And the thing that sets this uh, apart from a lot of USMLE test banks is that there's a filter feature. So here you can click choose questions. And again, I'm in the musculoskeletal unit, so I just wanna see musculoskeletal questions. So just go over here, click musculoskeletal. And then not just that, but uh, for first aid, which is a very popular med school resource, it breaks it down by first aid chapters. And so you could literally go in and filter as deep as you want. And so I'm not gonna do that just for you know, simplicity's sake, but it's there, it's available. And so you click next step, you can select the number of questions, and then it would generate a test. And, oh, I gotta click get started. Boom. You got it formatted exactly like how you would see it when you're taking step one. And then when you're reviewing, they have great explanations that break down why, not just why the answer is right, but why the others are wrong, which is incredibly important for your learning. And so this is a great little known resource um, that I would highly recommend for my medical students out there in the preclinical stage. And then finally, this last resource hits a little bit closer to home because I just finished my first anatomy 
uh, practical this past Friday and I did decently well on it. And the reason why is mostly because of this, Anatomy Bootcamp, who generously is the sponsor of this video and, and which sounds kind of weird for me to say at this state in my like YouTube career, but like everything else that I have on this channel, I would not support them if I didn't fully believe in what they're doing. And I, without a doubt, fully believe in what these people are making. So a little bit about Anatomy Bootcamp. It was created by some medical students and medical student graduates of Columbia Med. So some of the top, top brilliant minds in the country um, who decided to say, hey, I, I struggled in gross anatomy lab as a medical student. I wanna make sure that students in the future do not. And they put together this incredible, incredible app that I'll help you walk through kind of how I studied and how I used it. So my previous lab practical was on the upper extremity. So you'd go to the upper lower limbs and back. And as you can see, I've done a lot of questions. Um, so how you do it is kind of like the pectoral region. They have a lesson video and a PDF outline of that lesson video that you can download to your iPad or whatnot and annotate on it for your learning. And so kind of walk through this. I don't think there's going to be audio coming through or maybe there is. Um, so basically I would, I would liken these videos to a really Frankenstein mix of sketchy Khan Academy and Pathoma videos. So it's kind of got the slide slideshow PowerPoint um, feel of Pathoma videos with the drawing and interactiveness of Khan Academy. But then it also has kind of the visual spatial aspects of sketchy. And it's an incredible way to review your anatomy lectures um, or just learn it on your own. And all, all these people are students um, that are incredibly helpful. So it makes the videos personal and just, it's great. Uh, so after you would get done with watching these videos, you'd go in to the most helpful part of this, the question makes. So these, I'm telling you, once you get into anatomy lab, you'll have a better appreciation for how clear these cadaver pictures are because Say, I'm gonna retake this quiz. Look how clear these are. Like, this, this, <laughs> this never happens in the anatomy lab. You'll look at the body and be like, I don't know what I'm looking at amongst all these, and this, this makes it super easy. So, their questions goes, okay, what is this? And obviously, you'll know it later, but this is the lateral pectoral nerve, and that is heck minor i'm getting kind of nervous because i'm doing this on camera this is going through the, the pec minor so that is the medial pectoral nerve etc etc but the, these are some of the clearest cadaver pictures i've ever seen and then not just that but studies have shown that the best way to study is practice questions practice questions practice questions practice questions so having these banks are so important. And then not just that, but say you do one and you review them, it has a little summary video. So it explains to you why that is, uh, that structure. And then it has like an Enki type function where you can say, hey, I like this card or, I, or I'm really comfortable with this question. I'm gonna say mastered or eh, I think I need to look over this a little bit more and hit the yellow button or say like, yeah, I don't know this. I need to go over it again. And then on the front page, you'll see that, um, you'll see that it compiles it all so that when you're going back and studying, you only review what you're struggling on, not what you already mastered. So it's got like an innate filtering function. It's fantastic. And as you can see, I did all the upper extremity cards and it was, it was so useful and I can't thank them enough. And 
yeah, I hope these, I hope this resource helps you on your next anatomy practical so you can kill it as hopefully as much as I did. With that being said, thank you so much for watching. I hope that you can check out these resources uh, and it helps you in your assessment endeavors, uh, especially when you need a little bit of extra help and when those lectures just aren't doing it for you. Uh, and special shout out to Anatomy Bootcamp for sponsoring this video, as well as I have a discount code, just use code NDMD for um, a certain percentage off of the anatomy bootcamp subscription anyone going through gross anatomy lab right now whether you're in pa uh, pt nursing school or medical school i highly recommend using that to kill your anatomy practicals because anatomy is obviously a huge part of our career you really need to know it and so i want to help you guys out by making it a little bit more affordable even though it is already very affordable so Check them out. Link will be in the description. As always, thank you so much for watching, and I hope you ace all your assessments in the coming weeks. Peace.